Using the equipment, be sure children, bystanders, and animals are completely away from the work area. Clear the lawn of debris. Clearly mark rocks or other fixed objects. Check for hidden electrical cables or similar things in the surface of the lawn. Put on protective clothing, protective shoes, eye protection, and hearing protection. Now, a look at the sequence of steps involved in starting the engine. First, familiarize yourself with the engine operator controls. To begin, turn the on-off switch on. Turn the fuel lever on. Turn the choke lever on if starting the engine when it's cold. Set the throttle lever to fast idle, which is in the middle. Give a sharp pull on the starter handle to start the engine. Turn the choke off. You may need to move the choke back toward the off position in increments until the engine runs smoothly. For operating an aerator, set the throttle to a speed that enables you to comfortably walk with the machine. For operating a power rake or seater, set the throttle to fast. To stop the engine, turn the on-off switch to off. Our next job for lawn improvement? Overseeding. The best time to overseed is the fall, when the new grass won't be competing with crabgrass. Let's discuss operator controls. The seed hopper holds the grass seed. The open and close handle opens or closes the seed hopper gate located on the underside of the machine. The seed hopper cover features an application chart showing the seeder dial settings based on the type of grass seed being used. A depth lever on the side of the machine raises and lowers the delta reels. Simply push in and move the lever to the correct height. Higher numbers increase the depth of the reels. The depth should be set such that the reels slice into the ground only about one-eighth of an inch to one-quarter of an inch. Seed planted any deeper than that may not germinate. Set the depth lever to transport when pushing the machine to and from the worksite. To operate the seeder, start the engine. Set the depth control lever, hold the drive engagement bale against the handle, open the seed gate and proceed with overseeding. Run the seeder in two applications, with the second application made at a 45 degree angle to the first pass. This will give the newly planted grass a full, lush appearance when it sprouts. As soon as overseeding is complete, water thoroughly, then water lightly each day until the seed germinates. Once the seed has sprouted, water regularly to encourage deeper growth. Bluebird seeders and power rakes are the ultimate combo working together to revitalize your lawn. While Bluebird aerators bring a breath of fresh air and nutrients. Now on to making your lawn green, lush, and healthy.